And there's one such teaching which is important for all people, whether they're in the lay world or the monastic world, which is you know, learning how to let go of the past. Because many of us become prisoners from the awful things which happened to us when we were young or earlier on, or even just early today. And it is very against the teachings of the Dhamma to be able to have all that suffering for what happened in the past. It's because of that there's a little story which I tell many, many times to many people. And because I also teach psychologists, you know, before they go out there into the world to do the training, they say this is one of the stories which they actually use in their practice again and again and again. And it also shows how we can combine very deep teachings with great humor. And this is a story which many of you, if you've listened to my talks, may have heard before. It's the tall story of the two chicken farmers. Once upon a time, there were two chicken farmers. The first chicken farmer got up early in the morning to collect the produce from the night before. So the chicken farmer took the basket and entered the chicken shed and then filled his basket full of chicken shit and left the eggs in the shed to rot. He brought the shit back into the house with him where it made such a terrible smell that his whole family were very upset at him. He was a very dumb chicken farmer. Chicken farm <laughs> Chicken farm <laughs> Chicken farmer number two. He was a smart chicken farmer. He took his basket into the shed and he filled the basket full of eggs. He left the shit in the shed to rot where it would become a valuable fertilizer later on. But he doesn't bring the fertilizer, the shit, into the house with him. He leaves it in the shed. And he brings the eggs back into the house, where he makes a nice omelet for his family's breakfast, and then sells the rest of the eggs in the market for cash. He is a very smart chicken farmer. And the meaning of that story is this. When you collect the produce of your past, when you remember what's happened to you so far in your life, or so far today, what do you put in your basket and bring home with you? Are you shit collectors <laughs> or egg collectors? <laughs> and usually I find most people in the West are shit collectors. <laughs> in other words, all the rotten things which happened to you, they're the things you remember. You know, what your ex-partner did to you, you know, what your parents did to you or they should have done which they didn't, you know, what happened to you on the way to the campus today, what the girlfriend, the boyfriend did to you, all those rotten things, that's what you remember. That's what you put in your basket and bring home with you, your shit collectors. No wonder people are dumb. <laughs> Instead of that, collect the eggs. All of the beautiful things that's happened to you so far in your life. All the wonderful experiences you've had with your partner. All the great times you've had with your family. Put that in your basket and bring that home with you. And if you do that, straight away you're a much happier person. And for those of you who think that you learn from your mistakes, actually you learn much more from your successes than you'll ever learn from what went wrong. People who keep focusing on mistakes, whether it's in life, in meditation, in your academic career, if you keep focusing on your mistakes, you get very negative, angry and depressed. It's one of the great causes of depression in our modern world because we are so angry and so fault-finding. And that's one of the reasons why people can't get peaceful meditation too. Instead of looking at what's peaceful in this moment, instead of looking at what's beautiful in this body and mind, instead we look at all the faults and what's wrong. Which is one of the reasons why we can never find any peace or happiness or contentment, no stillness. 
There's always something to do, something to fix up, something to mend, which means we're never, ever peaceful and still. So understanding that story, at least if you collect all the eggs of your life, at least you can have an omelette and maybe sell something in the market for cash. If you keep on remembering all the things which went wrong, all your own mistakes, again, you just don't have the inner energy and happiness to live a successful life and also to get some decent meditation and see the Dhamma. So the fault-finding mind is one of the first things which is important to transcend. And don't be a shit collector, be an egg collector. It's the same. Many people have got photograph albums in their home. And in their photo albums they have you know, pictures of their graduation, pictures of you know, uh, their marriage ceremony, pictures of them being in holidays somewhere beautiful. But I've never ever seen anybody have a photograph album of their divorce. I've never seen anyone have a photo album of them doing assignments late into the night. I never see anyone having <laughs> I never see anyone having you have a photo of your graduation, you know, of your marriage. I never see anyone stuck in the traffic, you know, in the early morning trying to get to campus or trying to go to work. You have photographs of your holidays. We have photographs of our happy times. Because we use those photographs to inspire us, to uplift us and to give us the happiness which gives us the energy to live our life. In the same way, the photograph album between your ears called your memory. Please take out all the rotten photographs in that photograph album between your ears. Throw them away and instead keep the happy memories. <laughs>